hello everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to share with you a chatbot which is to talk to your database with natural language inputs we can query our database this is going to be a very helpful tool for data analytical purposes and in this um, in this tool i have used a rag to sql approach i will be explaining why did i take this approach later when i go into the code and also to note that at this time i am not using any open source llms because the results i got with open source llms are not very good so i have to switch to open ai llm only so before we dig deeper into the code the usual request if you like the content of my channel please subscribe to the channel and like the video so over here i have a database which is a sqlite database for this purpose um this is this can be any other database it can be a sql server or any other database of your choice over here i have um the hr database which is having few tables like employees dependent department country location jobs etc so let's quickly take a look at the chatbot over here this is the usual ui that i create for the chatbot purpose with streamlit let's put in some questions so i have asked that what is the location of the employee steven and the answer is seattle street address postal code so whatever information was available it did fetch it from me let's ask another question so this time it is a more aggregation kind of response that was required and it did it successfully so based on each of the cities how many employees are there it did return it to me one last question so as you can see for normal data analytics that we do with a fairly simple uh, fairly complicated queries that we need to create and study our data we can do it in natural language we don't need to any more write complicated sequels we will try out complicated sequels maybe later while we improve the tool or you can do it yourself also now let's go into the code so as usual my code is in two different scripts one is for the ui where i have imported the main script where the data chat class is imported it has been instantiated and then i am utilizing that class uh, to call the data ops so over here um, in the main script i have a class which is data chat and within that a function data ops which basically is ultimately returning the data frame which i am showing in the ui the code is fairly simple but there are few minor tricks that i have done let me explain so i have used chroma db as the vector database and i have used all mp net base v2 as my embedding model from hugging face so over here this is a small function to execute the sql queries and get back the result and uh, <coughs> after initiate init function this is the function to um, get meta is the function to retrieve the required information from vector database this is the extract code is the function to extract the sql only from the response so the response is generally containing many other textual information which we don't want um because the sql portion is what we need to execute on on a database okay now vectorization so why did i use a um vector database or a rag approach because um in practical scenario there are a lot of tables in a database so all those tables dds we cannot fit into the context window of the um large language models so i need to uh, find only the relevant only the relevant tables 
uh, and pass the DDL of, the, of those tables into the context of the LLM. And that is why I took this approach of um, using the vector DB. So in the beginning, I am getting all the DDLs from the uh, database using this query and I am creating instead of chunking them or doing ra things randomly, I am considering each DDL as a chunk and I am creating a vector of them and storing it in the vector database. So this is a small approach that I have tricky approach that I have done. And then when I'm getting the query, I'm passing it on to uh, get metadata. So I'm making a, a vector vector of this um, query and fetching the relevant tables from the um, all the tables that are there in the database. And that is how I am passing only the relevant table DDL into my prompt and thereafter to the LLM. So the response comes back. So this is the usual steps, LLM initialization instructions and then creating the prompt and then passing out uh, passing it on to the LLM along with the metadata then extracting the code the SQL exactly from the response and then executing the rigs, um, the SQL and then getting the data frame that's it fairly simple and if my code is as usual will be available in the github i will share the link of the github in my video description you can make copies of it download it experiment with it make own versions of it improve it and always welcome to share your comments in the comment section and let me know what you do with it that's all for today thank you